Hello folks. Now we're doing the notes and homework packet, page nine. I'm going to do these examples for you so you can see them one more time, and then hopefully you'll be all set. So our first formula is MGS. Both of these are regular elements, MG and S. So that means that when I write its name, magnesium sulfide. Nothing changes about it, right? The magnesium stays the same. Sulfur becomes the I-D-E ending. C-A-B-R-2. C-A is here. B-R is here. Nothing special about either of those. Calcium bromide. Bromine becomes bromide. The first word never changes. C-R. Let's find C-R. Here's C-R. Chromium. Oh, it's in the D block, so that means we needed to use Roman numerals. Chromium something, and then O becomes oxide. To figure out the Roman numerals, we got to figure out the charge. Oxygen. Oxygen is here. It has a minus two charge. So oxygen, we give a minus two charge here. That means that chromium, to balance out that minus two charge, has to have a positive two charge. So that means chromium becomes chromium two oxide. Let's take a look at CuCl2. Cu is here. It's in the D block. Be careful. Cu is copper something. And then Cl chlorine becomes chloride. Let's figure out the charge on chlorine to figure out what the charge is on copper. Cl is here. It has a minus one charge. So that means Cl, each one has a minus one charge, but there are two of them. So that means it's a total charge of negative two. That means that this one has a total positive charge of positive two. This is our positive two up here that got a little bit wonky. So positive two for the chlor for the copper. So that means it becomes copper two chloride. Copper two chloride. Let's take a look at the next one, K2CO3. There's more than two elements there, so it's got to be a family. K is a regular one. Our CO3 is a family, carbonate, carbonate. So it becomes potassium carbonate. Normally we change the second part, the second word to an IDE ending, but if it comes from the back as a polyatomic ion, don't change the name. It comes exactly like that, carbonate. The last one, we've got two families. NH4 is ammonium. Ammonium and PO3, PO3 is phosphite, phosphite. Endings are really important, phosphite. Okay, and how about doing it backwards? Now, if we have the words, how do we figure out what the symbols are? Aluminum. Aluminum is AL, right? We find aluminum on our periodic table. Aluminum is AL, and chloride is Cl. And you might think, oh yeah, Al, Cl, I'm all set. But you got to balance the charges. Aluminum has a plus three charge because it's in the 3A group, and Cl has a minus one charge because it's in the 7A group. So if aluminum has plus three and chloride has a minus one, if we just write one of each, it's not balanced. We need three of the Cl's Make them little for every one chlorine. Sorry, three CLs for every one aluminum, right? Three chlorines, one aluminum. Three chlorines, one aluminum. Let's try the next one. Beryllium phosphide. Beryllium is here, B-E. E -E and phosphide. The IDE ending tells you that it's a regular element. Phosphide is phosphorus, B-E-P. But now, what do we do about the, um, the charges here? B-E-P. B-E is in the plus two column, and phosphorus is in the one, two, three. It wants three more so that means Be is plus two, 
and phosphorus is minus three. They don't balance, so we need two of those and three of these. So in my formula, I need three BEs and two Ps. Don't forget to make them little. Don't forget to make them little. Silver two chloride. Ooh, the Roman numeral. What does that tell us? It means that silver, AG, is in the D block. There's no way we'd be able to figure out the charge. So this is telling us the charge on silver. Silver is AG, chloride is chlorine, Cl. Now let's figure out the charges. Cl is on our periodic table in the 7A column. That means it's going to be a minus 1 charge because it needs one more electron to get to 8. So chloride is a minus 1. Silver we wouldn't be able to figure out using a periodic table. It's in our... Ah! So the 2 tells you that it's a plus... 2 for the silver. Plus 2 and minus 1 don't balance out, so we're going to switch them. We need 2 CLs, 2 CLs, and 1 silver. Remember, these swap. These swap. So 2 CLs, 1 AG. Remember to make it a little CL. Next up, we have manganese 1 phosphite. Manganese 1 phosphite. Manganese is here. Uh, it's one of the D block ones. Luckily, we're given the charge. MN for manganese and phosphite. The I-T-E ending tells you it's not regular phosphorus. It's phosphite on the back here, PO3. PO3. Remember to make that three little, and I'm going to make this into a family. Turn that back into a big. PO3, our family. So manganese, this one tells us that that manganese has a plus one charge. The phosphite comes from the back. It tells us the charge. Phosphite has a minus three. Minus three. So that means we need three of the manganese and one of the phosphite. So let's draw those in. Three manganese and one phosphite. You can put a one out there if you want, but you don't have to. Next up we have ammonium sulfide. Ammonium that's one of our special ones. Ammonium is NH4 with a plus one. So I'm going to write in my NH4, making that little, and I'm going to show that this is a plus one, plus one. Sulfide, the IDE ending tells you that's a regular element. Sulfide, oops, sulfide tells you that the regular sulfur Regular sulfur has a negative two charge. So we have our regular sulfur that has a negative two charge. So remember, ammonium had a plus one, sulfide had a negative two. It doesn't balance, so we need two ammoniums. Ammonium is a family, and because we need two of them, we have to put it in parentheses. Because if we just put NH42, does that mean that this is NH42? They don't multiply. Make sure you use the parentheses and make it regular size. NH4, we need two of the NH4 family to balance out every one sulfide. Last one, sodium sulfite. Sodium is Na. Sulfite is on the back. Sulfite is SO3 with a minus 2 charge. SO3 with a minus 2 charge. Don't forget to make that little 3 little. So sulfite has a minus two charge, right? Sulfite, minus two charge. Sodium, sodium is here. It has a plus one charge. So sodium with a plus one charge. We need two sodiums and one sulfite. Two sodiums and one sulfite. That's it. Good luck. Thank you.